Now I'm going to teach you how you can make an angel to appear. How you can make an angel to appear physically or how you can make the angel to appear spiritually. So there are two ways of doing it. The first time I made an angel to appear, the angel actually came to me physically. That was the first way that I did it. Because before then, I think I was just imagining stuff that is not real. You see, my own training is different. For most people, the angel is going to appear spiritually or in a vision. But my own wasn't like that. The first time an angel appeared to me, the angel knocked my door and came inside. There are different times that angels appeared to me. But the thing is, when I read those books on how to summon angels, right? I did not know that an angel can appear spiritually. It was until years later when I started training people like you that I realized and when I started doing more of my own practice too that I now realized that oh angels can appear spiritually which is the easiest way but I'm going to come back to that and I'm going to explain it to you by the way don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and um, I wrote a book on how to summon angels I wrote a book on how to prophesy accurately if you need those books click the link below so now I'm going to tell you so I read those books that talked about summoning angels but i did not know that the angel can appear spiritually i only thought that oh the angel can appear physically so my training was to make the angels to appear physically so it took me a long time but eventually i did it so one of the times that the angel came to me the angel appeared early in the morning this was what happened some days ago like two days before the angel appeared snake entered my room so as the snake entered my room like that we found a way to kill it, but the snake entered through my window. Now, here's the problem. If a snake enters into your room through the window, you'll be very scared. You'll be thinking, is it possible for another snake to enter through your window again when you are sleeping? I think that's what triggered it. So my mind was in between sleeping and being awake because when I'm even sleeping in the house, I'm like, is a snake going to bite me? Is a snake going to bite me? That kind of thought I was having it. But also I was at the same time I was reading a book on how to make angels to appear physically. So I was also thinking about angels. Angels are all around me. Angels will appear. But note that my mom was not around, my dad was not around, my brothers, my sisters were not around, my siblings were not around. So I was only the only one at home. I was the only one at home, always meditating all the time, activating my seven chakras and everything, you know, breathing in it out spin the chakra the crown chakra third eye chakra throat chakra you know belly chakra heart chakra belly chakra sacral chakra root chakra you know all those things root chakra so i was spinning it and it was working properly so the fear that oh the snake is gonna come and bite me and the training on how to summon the angels so my mind was between being a wakefulness and sleepiness so based on that thought that I had about the angels, two days later, after the snake came, I just woke up. Then I felt something pressing me in my hand like this. It was an angel, a female angel with feathers all over her body. She doesn't have wings. And she performed the spiritual ability of vanishing in front of me. There is vanishing, there is teleportation, there is invisibility. She did almost the three at the same time. Vanishing is when someone can see you and you begin to disappear and you're not there again. Yes, so she, she disappeared. I saw her. She was becoming like a cloud in front of me. She was shocked. <gasps> I saw her. Young angel. She can't modern. As I then, 14 years old, the way she looked. Because she looked very, very young. I've seen angels that are looking you know, very, very old. So I saw her. This was one of the times I saw angels physically. This one touched me. This one is not. This is physical flesh that woke me up early in the morning. This one is not imagination or guesswork. The other time was when the angel knocked on the door and spoke to me in my mother's voice and image. There is light. Come and charge your phone. And I woke up. And she closed the door back. The sound. You know when you open the door. And you close it again. She knocked. Co, co, co. And I had co, co, co. And I woke up from my sleep. So when I tell you that angels appear to people physically, it's not a joke. Oh. It's real now. It's very, very real. So I went to charge my phone. The next morning, I asked my mom. Oh, I thank my mom. Thank you very much for 
waking me up at night she said no that's not me she said she was even surprised when i woke up at night like because i was sick how did i know that there was light the angel appeared because i told the angel to come and wake me up when there is light so this thing works with your mind and with faith so you can make an angel to appear physically just like to take a lot of time and effort so for me physical first then later on because i needed angels to appear quickly if you want angels to appear quickly you can't wait for days to summon an angel physically and also once you realize that you can make an angel to appear physically and the same result you get when the angel appears physically is the same result that you get when they appear spiritually or in the etheric form so there are two ways now which one do you prefer now i'm not saying you should not make angels to appear physically because me you can't tell me it's imagination no? because i've seen them too many times sometimes i can just sleep and wake up and right there in front of me the angel is sitting down on the chair and i cannot see behind the angel because the angel has blocked light so it's obviously the same way you remember we sit down there that's how the angel is sitting down there and the angel will be looking at me and i'll be looking at it too We'll be looking at ourselves each other do you understand so you cannot uh, many times so you can't tell me his imagination so that's why i say you should learn physical evocation get my course on how to summon angels get the three days impartation so that you can start seeing angels angels will be moving all around in your house okay click the link below book a call with my representative once you can do physical evocation you will not be like <laughs> Maybe it's imagination because you've seen the angel now. It's just like someone telling you, your mother is not real or your brother is not real. Is it possible? Even though you're in the United States of America and your brother is in Nigeria and you've not seen each other for weeks, months, nobody can tell you that your brother is not real. It's not possible. You've seen him before physically in front of you. So that's the same thing with physical evocation. Some people would think, oh, this is craziness, madness, imagination. No, it is real. So once you realize that physical evocation will get you the same result as spiritual evocation then you begin to do more of spiritual evocation now there are two kinds of spiritual evocation the first level is when you have advanced clairvoyance serious one no? now because i told you that you can make an angel to appear spiritually in your house that is easier and faster does not mean you won't train for me to be able to do that, I, I train for maybe eight months or nine months to be able to do it. Uh -huh. But just that if you get my course, it will take you a few weeks, maybe two weeks or four weeks or six weeks. Depend on you, how you practice. But me, originally, it took me like nine months or something to be able to hold the vision and see the angel to appear in front of you. Like, the, as I'm making this video now, the angel will appear right now. And the angel will tell you its name. You see the angel clearly. But you need to develop clairvoyance. Clairvoyance etheric clairvoyance for you to be able to see the angel to develop that level of clairvoyance you need to practice so you most likely need the prophetic course do you understand because in the prophetic course will teach you how to prophesy greatly how to see visions do all kind of things the future the past the present using the third eye so these are the things you need to understand so once you can now activate etheric vision you now begin to open your spiritual ears so the angel can appear in your house or you can go to a bar and the angel will appear in the bar there and be telling you about the people in the bar you go to the church the angel will appear in the church there so that's when you now begin to learn more skills or oh, on how to interact with the angels the different kind of angels where these angels are from okay is this one from the the angelic realm is this one from the astral realm can this one prophesy can this one see visions can also do healing like that like that like that like that so that's how you begin to relate with those angels because it's a wide field of study it just didn't take, to reach the highest level these guys take years of practice man but if you want something basic you want to you know you want good things in life you want to be able to prophesy see visions you need answers to your prayers you just need the prophetic course that's all um the summon angels course the prophetic course helps too they can do something similar, but the summoning angels causes for angels, or you can just get the impartation. So now the second type of spiritual 
evocation is when when i say evocation it just means someone in angels the spiritual way of seeing angels there are two ways the first one you see the angel in front of you on earth the second way <laughs> you you have to carry yourself to the spiritual world so this thing is very simple i don't know why people are scared of it if you dream are you on earth you're not on earth now is it demonic no so it's almost the same thing if you're, if you're telling me that, oh, why would I take myself to the spiritual world? It's evil. Then why are you dreaming now? Why are you sleeping? You should not sleep. You should remain on earth all the time. You should be awake all the time now. So you take yourself, if you have low training, you can take yourself to the spiritual realm there and go and mark attendance with the angel. And the angel will give you, you know, whatever you want. But when I say angel will give you whatever you want, it's not as if you yourself cannot do what you're asking the angel for. Just that if you if you meet a billionaire and you ask the billionaire to give you one million dollars, the billionaire has it already. Yes, you can also 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 for ten years to become a millionaire to you know make one million dollars. But which one is faster? Meet a billionaire to give you a million dollars, or you want to hustle yourself. So yes, you can hustle yourself to hustle, 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 train yourself. But angels can already do all those things that you think you want to get. They can, they have it. So just ask. And this doesn't mean you should not pray to God. You can pray to God, okay? But um, God has put angels in charge of these things. God wants angels to do these things for you. So if you keep on saying it's demonic, you will lose all. You will lose that everybody is using angels. Let me just tell you that. People that are getting results, they are. So, this is the Gaffa, the God of Prophecy. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I believe I've taught you enough. I've helped your life now with this information. So, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ask me any questions that you have. Share this video to your friends. And, you know, lastly, I want to see you in class. Join the prophetic school or the Summoner Angels course. Remain blessed. I will see you soon. Take care.